What's up everybody, it's your boy Ragdoll and we got another episode of Pokemon Gale of Darkness going on right here. In the last episode, we saved Phoenix City from that invasion that they had going on. And uh, we snagged a lot of Pokemon in the process. Um, we're gonna, you know, purify some of these guys right now. We got three ready right now. Um, Snow Rump, Voltorb, and Pine Cove. So we're gonna purify those guys before we move on. And if you haven't been keeping up with the team, the team is looking pretty solid. Fuego, the Flareon, Pinocchio, Nuzleaf, Beyblade, the Ball Toy. And we picked up Seal. We're, we, we need a water type. So, you know, I think Seal is a, a decent water type. It's not even that we need a water type, but I, I want to keep some Shadow Pokemon in the party at all times. No run, evolving, or not evolving, but purified. I need to figure out a nickname for this guy. Run his water pulse. I wish Snow Run evolved a lot earlier than it did because Snow Run to level 42 or 41, whenever it evolves, that's entirely too long for Snow Run. Name it Eskimo. I think that's how you spell it, Eskimo. I think that's how you spell it. If I'm wrong, y'all, you know, I know what to do. Let me know. All right, Voltor. Voltor looks so freaking angry, man. But that's Voltor for you. I'm pissed off ball. Mirror coat and refresh. There we go. I'm nicknamed it Boom Baby. <laughs> yeah, Boom Baby. I don't know what it is about using Voltorb or Electro, but whenever I see them and I have Self Destruct or Explosion, I can't help but to click that move sometime. Can't help it. Then we got Pineco. I don't even know what uh what I would nickname Pineco. Third generation rapid spin. Man, does it suck. Uh, like, Rapid Spin used to be a terrible move, if you didn't know. Like, it, it, that, that quick glimpse that you just got. Um, base 20 power. You don't get a speed boost. Rapid Spin used to suck back in the day, man. Um... So now that we got a couple of Pokemon purified, let's move on with the story. As a matter of fact, let me uh these Pokemon back inside the box. Um like I said, we're going to use Spiro. The cone. Good. Out of all the Pokemon, out of all my Shadow Pokemon, I don't think I want to use anything, any of these guys right now. So I'm going to just keep it pushing with Seal.
let's move on though. Let's move on. Like the way I'm playing this game, I do want to play 100% of the game. And playing 100% of the game, I got to purify all the Pokemon. But I'm going to try to play, play the game the way I think it was intended to be played. Being the fact that you got to have some Shadow Pokemon with you. But let's get to this story though. Scooter's tires bog down in the sand. It is impossible to go any farther. We go to Phoenix. We ride back to Phoenix. What if I try to go to the desert? An ordinary scooter won't make it. Hmm, got that email. Ragdoll, we've been asked to help locate a missing Pokemon. Oh. Our boy Ned, he, he he needs us to pull up on him real quick. So let's go see our boy real quick. My right town has like I think the best music in this game. Is that right there, that saxophone. Listen to it. Come on now. Come on now. And this 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 music in here is pretty cool too. Now I don't know who who's in the studio when they make this game. But they snap them. They snap with this one. Oh, that's set. Gotta talk to Ned. Um, with this video, I don't even. I don't think I'm gonna be battling much this episode. I don't think. Say here a mob. Alright, what's up, man? The SS Libra had a Pokemon on board. So, the missing Pokemon is a Bonsley. This is a third generation game. Uh, Bonsley is fourth generation, but Pokemon Gale of Darkness it came out in a it came out at a good time because like fourth generation was in the works. Bonsley was one of those Pokemon that we got to see a little early. So, the fun thing about Bonsley at this time is you can actually use Bonsley in this game. Um, you gotta go to the Real Gum Tower, and for finding the Bonsley, we get like a card bingo or a bingo card, and we're able to use Bonsley. I might show that to us or show it to y'all later. I don't know yet. I mean, with see, there's not too ready to be purified. With this game being like over 10 years old, if you haven't used Bonsley yet, I, I don't know what you've been doing with yourself. I don't I don't know. But you know what? I just might I just might use it. It's the bingo card, cause why not? You know. Oh wait, I, I skipped a step. I was supposed to talk to Sec this now it's like we got stuck in the sand so we need to upgrade our scooter okay hmm. this is why reading that dialogue is very important I, I just button mash thinking I know how to play the game I get that's what I get for button mash. If I feel the need to level up, I'm gonna go to the Coliseums and Mount Battle and just level up off screen and all that good stuff. Um, walking past those uh trainers in that circle just made me think that, like, mm, I might be coming up on that part where uh, 
where um I need some levels. I gotta go to Danyon Port real quick. Cause I fancy an upgrade to the scooter. heroics on screen hey I had to do my boy snaddle like that look at him run like a weak old pansy oh yeah that's right all right so I am going the right way I gotta go to dr. Kaminko or whatever that dude's name is Man, the, that cool old man we met a while ago, Mr. Verich. Yep, yep. What a nice old man. What a nice old guy. Nothing fishy about him at all. Wink, wink. <laughs> Get Kaminko, that's where we gotta go. That's where that super knowledgeable granddad is. All right, spot monitor. What do we got? If it blinks fast, we're gonna go there. Um, that's that's either Gligar or Trap Pinch, and I I just gotta go. I, I go to it. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. I do apologize, deeply apologize. Yes, it's a trap pinch. Okay, I'm gonna catch this. I am gonna pause the recording for now. I don't wanna waste no one's time. So I'll let y'all know how it goes. So hold on for a sec. Okay, so I did catch the trap pinch. I caught it and um, we're gonna try to go see uh, Dookie and see what he trades us for the trap pinch. Did you remember trap pinch was one of those Pokemon he wanted to trade us? I forget what he wants to trade for um, Trap Pinch. For Trap Pinch, what do you got for us? Metatite? Trap Pinch for Metatite? No. Honestly, like, since I have a trap pinch, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But, um, I got a psychic type called Ball Toy, you know? If I got to change a heart, uh, what would I name this one? I didn't, I didn't name it. It's lonely. If I trade it, I might. It's not right now. I mean, don't get me wrong, Metacham is really good, but, uh, not right now, not right now. Oh, we got Beyblade front. All right, that's cool. Um, I got to potion up real quick because we're about to fight that nerd again. Chobin, the guy who talks in third person. And the crazy part about coming here is everybody talks in third person. And what's even more crazy, why is nobody actually stopping to look at, you know, see who I am? I'm the same kid, man. Didn't grow a, didn't grow an inch. But I guess I'll entertain it. Tobin wants to duke it out, man. I guess the the good thing 
the good thing about this is uh I think Tobin's Pokemon uh, they, they still kind of suck. Actually, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Shadow Mist and just Rock Tomb him. Okay, that, that bite did some. some da oh, I flinched. Wow. Might switch out to that good old Nuzleaf. The only reason Gyarados isn't scary is because I don't think his Gyarados has any water moves. Okay. Okay. I think I need to perform the mighty uh, double switch. That would have hurt. Let me see if we can flinch this Gyarados or something like that. Flinching the Gyarados will be a very good thing here. Or at least we drain enough HP to survive one more crash. That might be enough. <laughs> Gotta get rid of this Gyarados though. Confused or not, Gyarados must go. Alright. And then another thing that we gotta do in battle, which kinda sucks a little bit, but we have to heal our Pokemon because, um, this is one of those uh, moments in the game where they don't give you a break. You gotta do like a back-to-back -back battle thing. But you know, yeah, I'm gonna just uh, super potion on ball toy. See if I got something. I don't. So, uh, I guess Pinocchio. I guess, I guess Pinocchio can have the super potion right there. I'm gonna use Ember, and then we're gonna heal up Flareon now. Cause the Ember should, it should knock out the Sun Current. I mean, it's just the Sun Current. There we go. Nice. Wonderful. Wonderful.
What is the meaning of Arya Shaw? And look at that dude's pants, man. The pants of a crazy scientist. It said, wait, you're gonna get it. Oh, I thought this was gonna be a back-to-back -back battle thing. Um, well, I guess I may as well just use the potion on a seal. That's two Pokemon purified, or ready to be purified. Let's go, man. Oh, I apologize. If you wish to flee, let it be now. Nope. Your intention is to burgle. Wow. The ultimate Robo Pokemon to reveal itself. Come hither. Robo Groudon. Wow. Not gonna lie, looking at this back in the day, this was amazing to me. I was like, no way, I'm fighting a legendary. Oh man, but you guys will see why, like right now, why it wasn't that great. <laughs> Robo Groudon Shobin. Because a Pokemon is sending out Pokemon. And also, within two minutes, within two minutes, that goddamn Gyarados and Sunflora, or Sunkern, got stronger and somehow evolved. Doesn't make a lick of sense to me, but you know. try to use Rock Tomb again like I did last time just to slow that Gyarados down. Alright, I didn't flinch this time, but I freaking miss. Man. The things that happen to me in Pokemon games, I just don't understand it. Okay, this this can help. We are gonna do that good old double switch. What's my Nuzleaf's ability? Early bird. Okay. Wish it was chlorophyll. Would have been great if it was chlorophyll, but it happens. why I did the double switch right there is because uh, if Sunflower has chlor uh, yeah, chlorophyll, it'll be faster than everything anyway. And then two, um, I just didn't want to deal with shenanigans. No one wants to deal with shenanigans. Secret power and get a sun boosted ember going. Okay, nice, got the burn. Okay, poison. I'm 
let the burn knock out some flora and then we're just gonna jump the Gyarados hopefully I can get like a, a flinch on this fight so Nuzleaf can have a fighting chance to survive yes we got the flinch so this might be a double knockout right here both of Groudon Chobin's Pokemon going down to status conditions. Yep, some floor going down to the barn. Love to see it. Alright, Beyblade growing a level. I think Balto evolves pretty soon too. Um, I know it evolves in the 30s. I just don't know what level. I think it evolves on level 36. I think both of these Pokemon have uh, Corfield as their ability. So, yeah. I'm definitely expecting to get outsped by both of these guys. But, we got a Flareon with Ember. So, we should be safe, right? Never mind. Never mind. Well, okay. I thought I was going to get flinched again. Y'all, hear me out. Hear me out real quick. What if every time you use the fire type move in the sun, you get like a 50% chance to burn? Think about it. Think about it. Let that marinate, you know, see if you like it. But I think, I think that should possibly maybe be a thing. I know what y'all are thinking. What about those sun teams running around and competitive? Well, don't let them set up the sun. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Weather Wars. All, all battle long. But that's it for Chobin, though. That's it for Chobin. Like, no shit, it's Ragdoll. That dude had enough. He was like, bro, you telling me a kid stopped or got through our defenses? The Robo Groudon? What? Yeah, that is a shame, though. That is a shame. Is it McCann or McCann? I'm going to call him McCann. But let's go get him. Because we got to go upgrade our scooter. That was the, the main reason why we went this way anyway. To upgrade the scooter. The basement research and development room is no longer home to any secrets. Of course it wasn't. That's why I was going down here anyway. Nick can poop. Nick can poop up a scientist. Oh! I did it to myself. I was trying to run over there to that, that chest over there. There we go. Because if there's one thing. That I like in this game or in any Pokemon game items I want to find them all but all right let me go ahead and talk to this guy because he's the one that's going to be upgraded our, our scooter and just like that Oh, 
Wait, am I healed up? Up real quick. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Um, did I answer that lady's questions already? I think I did, because that's why I got the macho braze. She thinks I'm awesome. Okay, so I think I can get a Air B. Where are you? Pirate tent. All right, we gotta go see Mayor B because he has a, a shadow Pokemon for us to grab. And this lady, she interviews you and um, Oh man, I thought she was gonna give me an interview or whatever. All right, all right, let me heal up real quick and then I'm gonna go to Pirate, all right, Pirate Town, whatever you guys would like to call it. I call it Pyrite instead of Pirate. What if, what if I'm wrong and it's called Pirate? <laughs> oh boy. Cause yeah, we gotta go see what, uh, what Mirror B is cooking up or what shadow Pokemon I missed. I, I kind of forget, but that's usually what happens with the shadow Pokemon you knock out. Mirror B always ends up with them. So I'm about to go through the Coliseum. I don't want to show all that. So, um, jeez. What else we got going on? Who, what, what, what spot? Cave? Okay. Okay. Let's go see what's at the cave spot. Well, seeing that as much lags. I'm gonna pause the recording for right now. I'll see you guys when I start fighting Mirror B. Okay, we are at Mirror B. But we gotta see what he snagged. Mirror B had some jamming music too, for real. Nothing but hits, man. Nothing but hits. I'm gonna start this thing off with a, a safeguard though because I want to say Hopip is one of those Pokemon that'll paralyze you, put you to sleep, whatever it can do, it'll do it. Then he has Ludicolo, so that's crazy. Switching to Fuego. I'm gonna use Ancient Power. I want Seal to die. I'm just using time beam on a yeah on a 
on the Sudoku though. Let's get that thing up out of here. Double teaming Sudoku though should definitely knock it out. And there we go, yep. Rosalia, that's what we knocked out. Okay. Team the Ludic Polo. And hopefully we can knock. Okay, we're not gonna knock it out. Alright. Yeesh. Attack on that. Stop being the Louis Polo. I don't I know Flareon has a high attack stat, but I don't think it'll kill it. That was really close. That was really close. <laughs> a crit really would have knocked it out. I need this side beam to knock out the Louis Polo. I don't know what he's doing with a fully evolved Pokemon in, in this Coliseum anyway. Well, I guess Flareon is considered fully evolved, of course. Alright. Let's just start chucking Pokeballs at this thing. Stay in, stay in. Nice. Nice. And with that being said, I'll flash back when I'm done with this Coliseum. Because I don't think me beating up level 20 Pokemon is worth, you know, worth it. Worth recording. Okay, we finally made it out. We ended up getting like $3,000, TM05. I don't even know what TM05 is. Let, let us check. It is Roar, which sucks. So the last thing we're gonna do for this video is we're gonna um, go back to the Pokemon HQ lab and we're gonna go see what those Pokemon in the Purify Chamber are doing. You know, we had, um, what, three Pokemon? Um. Not to Meowth and Swine up ready to be purified. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna end this episode right here. Or right there. And then um I guess for the next episode we're gonna keep Roselia and the party with Seal and we'll just rock with these three. Or those two shadow Pokemon. Not three shadow Pokemon. Oh, the Pokemon that's in set 4 and 5, they're almost ready to be purified too. I'm gonna purify those some other time. I might do that off screen. But not too. What you got for us, buddy? Future Sight and Baton Pass. That's actually not bad at all.
and a nickname of Keith. Alright, alright. Yep, future, future. Future the Natu. Primer. And we all know the universal nickname for Grimer. Oh my word. So we all know what muck is backwards, right? Fudge bomb. Fudge bomb is a real. We actually might mess around and use uh use a grimer. But muck backwards. I'm not gonna say it out loud. Hopefully you do. <laughs> I need to grow up. I really do need to grow up. Meow. I forget what level Meowth evolves on. Like 26 or 28 or something like that, I believe. I don't know. But um, a good name for Meowth. What a nickname it. Perfection. If it fits. Okay, just perfect. I know we all had a name for Meowth. But I'm not going to nickname it. Name my Pokemon too many dirty things at one time you know and just like that we've just seen rope right before our eyes that's what she said <laughs> all right but then swine so up the last uh of the shadow pokemon for this episode um ancient power what we got on okay i mean that ain't Good name for uh, old bacon. Cause that's exactly what Swamp is. Old bacon, frozen bacon. But that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Um, thanks for watching. In the next episode, we're actually gonna cross the desert with our upgraded scooter and um see what kind of see, see what more evil we could possibly be running into oh man guess like that <laughs> um okay i i guess i'll show sparrow getting purified because why not <laughs> that's funny a good name for Spiro. Hmm. Bird. Because <laughs> that's exactly what it is. A mean bird. Mean birdie. Oh no, I put a J. Oopsie, oopsie days, the mean birdie D. But uh, yeah, we are gonna end the episode right there. So thanks for watching. Like usual, be safe, be careful. Tell someone, tell someone you love them. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>